In economics, an indifference curve connects points on a graph representing different quantities of two goods, points between which a consumer is indifferent. That is, the consumer has no preference for one combination or bundle of goods over a different combination on the same curve. One can also refer to each point on the indifference curve as rendering the same level of utility satisfaction for the consumer. In other words, an indifference curve is the locus of various points showing different combinations of two goods providing equal utility to the consumer. Utility is then a device to represent preferences rather than something from which preferences come. The main use of indifference curves is in the representation of potentially observable demand patterns for individual consumers over commodity bundles. There are infinitely many indifference curves, one passes through each combination. A collection of selected indifference curves, illustrated graphically, is referred to as an indifference map. History The theory of indifference curves was developed by Francis Isidro Edgeworth, who explained in his 1881 book the mathematics needed for their drawing. Later on, Vilfredo Pareto was the first author to actually draw these curves, in his 1906 book. The theory can be derived from William Stanley Jevons' ordinal utility theory, which posits that individuals can always rank any consumption bundles by order of preference. Map and properties of indifference curves A graph of indifference curves for several utility levels of an individual consumer is called an indifference map. Points yielding different utility levels are each associated with distinct indifference curves and these indifference curves on the indifference map are like contour lines on a topographical graph. Each point on the curve represents the same elevation. If you move off an indifference curve traveling in a northeast direction assuming positive marginal utility for the goods you are essentially climbing a mound of utility. The higher you go the greater the level of utility. The non-satiation requirement means that you will never reach the top or a bliss point, a consumption bundle that is preferred to all others. Indifference curves are typically represented to be defined only in the non-negative quadrant of commodity quantities i.e. the possibility of having negative quantities of any good is ignored. Negatively sloped. That is, as quantity consumed of one good X increases, total satisfaction would increase if not offset by a decrease in the quantity consumed of the other good Y. Equivalently, satiation, such that more of either good or both is equally preferred to no increase, is excluded. If utility U equals F X, Y, U, in the third dimension, does not have a local maximum for any X and Y values, the negative slope of the indifference curve reflects the assumption of the monotonicity of consumers' preferences, which generates monotonically increasing utility functions, and the assumption of non-satiation marginal utility for all goods is always positive, an upward sloping indifference curve would imply that a consumer is indifferent between a bundle A and another bundle B because they lie on the same indifference curve, even in the case in which the quantity of both goods in bundle B is higher. Because of monotonicity of preferences and non-satiation, a bundle with more of both goods must be preferred to one with less of both, thus the first bundle must yield a higher utility, and lie on a different indifference curve at a higher utility level. The negative slope of the indifference curve implies that the marginal rate of substitution is always positive, complete, such that all points on an indifference curve are ranked equally preferred and ranked either more or less preferred than every other point not on the curve. So, with two, no two curves can intersect otherwise non-satiation would be violated. Transitive with respect to points on distinct indifference curves. That is, if each point on I2 is strictly preferred to each point on I1, and each point on I3 is preferred to each point on I2, each point on I3 is preferred to each point on I1. A negative slope and transitivity exclude indifference curves crossing, since straight lines from the origin on both sides of where they crossed would give opposite and intransitive preference rankings strictly convex. With two, convex preferences imply that the indifference curves cannot be concave to the origin, i.e. they will either be straight lines or bulge toward the origin of the indifference curve. If the latter is the case, then as a consumer decreases consumption of one good in successive units, successively larger doses of the other good are required to keep satisfaction unchanged. Topic. Assumptions of consumer preference theory Preferences are complete. 
The consumer has ranked all available alternative combinations of commodities in terms of the satisfaction they provide him, assume that there are two consumption bundles A and B each containing two commodities X and Y. A consumer can unambiguously determine that one and only one of the following is the case. A is preferred to B, formally written as APB B is preferred to A, formally written as BPA A is indifferent to B, formally written as AIB this axiom precludes the possibility that the consumer cannot decide, it assumes that a consumer is able to make this comparison with respect to every conceivable bundle of goods, preferences are reflexive this means that if A and B are identical in all respects the consumer will recognize this fact and be indifferent in comparing A and B. A equals B A I B preferences are transitive if A P B and B P C, then A P C. Also if A I B and B I C, then A I C. This is a consistency assumption, preferences are continuous if A is preferred to B and C is sufficiently close to B then A is preferred to C APB and CBAPC. Continuous means infinitely divisible, just like there are infinitely many numbers between 1 and 2 all bundles are infinitely divisible. This assumption makes indifference curves continuous, preferences exhibit strong monotonicity if A has more of both X and Y than B, then A is preferred to B. This assumption is commonly called the more is better assumption. An alternative version of this assumption requires that if A and B have the same quantity of one good, but A has more of the other, then A is preferred to B. It also implies that the commodities are good rather than bad. Examples of bad commodities can be disease, pollution etc. because we always desire less of such things. Indifference curves exhibit diminishing marginal rates of substitution. The marginal rate of substitution tells how much y a person is willing to sacrifice to get one more unit of x. This assumption assures that indifference curves are smooth and convex to the origin. This assumption also set the stage for using techniques of constrained optimization because the shape of the curve assures that the first derivative is negative and the second is positive. Another name for this assumption is the substitution assumption. It is the most critical assumption of consumer theory, consumers are willing to give up or trade off some of one good to get more of another. The fundamental assertion is that there is a maximum amount that a consumer will give up, of one commodity, to get one unit of another good, in that amount which will leave the consumer indifferent between the new and old situations. The negative slope of the indifference curves represents the willingness of the consumer to make a trade off. Topic. Application Consumer theory uses indifference curves and budget constraints to generate consumer demand curves. For a single consumer, this is a relatively simple process. First, let one good be an example market e.g., carrots, and let the other be a composite of all other goods. Budget constraints give a straight line on the indifference map showing all the possible distributions between the two goods. The point of maximum utility is then the point at which an indifference curve is tangent to the budget line illustrated. This follows from common sense. If the market values a good more than the household, the household will sell it. If the market values a good less than the household, the household will buy it. The process then continues until the market's and household's marginal rates of substitution are equal. Now, if the price of carrots were to change, and the price of all other goods were to remain constant, the gradient of the budget line would also change, leading to a different point of tangency and a different quantity demanded. These price-quantity combinations can then be used to deduce a full demand curve. A line connecting all points of tangency between the indifference curve and the budget constraint is called the expansion path. Topic. Examples of indifference curves. In figure 1, the consumer would rather be on I3 than I2, and would rather be on I2 than I1, but does not care where he, she is on a given indifference curve. The slope of an indifference curve in absolute value, known by economists as the marginal rate of substitution, shows the rate at which consumers are willing to give up one good in exchange for more of the other good. For most goods the marginal rate of substitution is not constant so their indifference curves are curved. The curves are convex to the origin, describing the negative substitution effect. As price rises for a fixed money income, the consumer seeks the less expensive substitute at a lower indifference curve. The substitution effect is reinforced through the income effect of lower real income BD France. 
An example of a utility function that generates indifference curves of this kind is the Cobb Douglas function U x y equals x alpha y 1 minus alpha 0 alpha 1 Display style script style u left x y right equals x caret alpha y caret one alpha zero leq alpha leq one. The negative slope of the indifference curve incorporates the willingness of the consumer to make trade-offs. If two goods are perfect substitutes, then the indifference curves will have a constant slope, since the consumer would be willing to switch between at a fixed ratio. The marginal rate of substitution between perfect substitutes is likewise constant. An example of a utility function that is associated with indifference curves like these would be u x y equals alpha x plus beta y display style script style u left x y right equals alpha x plus beta y. If two goods are perfect complements, then the indifference curves will be L-shaped. Examples of perfect complements include left shoes compared to right shoes. The consumer is no better off having several right shoes if she has only one left shoe. Additional right shoes have zero marginal utility without more left shoes, so bundles of goods differing only in the number of right shoes they include, however many, are equally preferred. The marginal rate of substitution is either zero or infinite. An example of the type of utility function that has an indifference map like that above is the Leontief function. U x y equals min alpha x beta y display style script style u left x y right equals min alpha x beta y. The different shapes of the curves imply different responses to a change in price, as shown from demand analysis in consumer theory. The results will only be stated here. A price budget line change that kept a consumer in equilibrium on the same indifference curve. In Fig. 1 would reduce quantity demanded of a good smoothly as price rose relatively for that good. In Fig. 2 would have either no effect on quantity demanded of either good at one end of the budget constraint or would change quantity demanded from one end of the budget constraint to the other. In Fig. 3 would have no effect on equilibrium quantities demanded, since the budget line would rotate around the corner of the indifference curve. Topic. Preference relations and utility Choice theory formally represents consumers by a preference relation, and use this representation to derive indifference curves showing combinations of equal preference to the consumer. Topic. Preference relations. Let a display style a be a set of mutually exclusive alternatives among which a consumer can choose a display style a and b display style b be generic elements of a display style a. In the language of the example above, the set display style a is made of combinations of apples and bananas the symbol a display style a is one such combination such as one apple and four bananas and b display style b is another combination such as two apples and two bananas a preference relation denoted display style succeq is a binary relation defined on the set a display style a the statement a b display style a s u c c e q b is described as a display style a is weakly preferred to b display style b that is a display style a is at least as good as b display style b in preference satisfaction the statement of b display style a sim b 
is described as a display style a is weakly preferred to b display style b and b display style b is weakly preferred to a display style a that is one is indifferent to the choice of a display style a or b display style b meaning not that they are unwanted but that they are equally good in satisfying preferences the statement a b display style a s u c c b is described as a display style a is weakly preferred to b display style b but b display style b is not weakly preferred to a display style a one says that a display style a is strictly preferred to b display style b the preference relation display style succeq is complete if all pairs a b display style a b can be ranked the relation is a transitive relation if whenever a b display style succeq b and b c display style b succeq c then a c display style succeq c for any element a element of display style in a the corresponding indifference curve c a display style math call c underscore a is made up of all elements of a display style a which are indifferent to a display style a formally c a equals b element of a B a display style math call C underscore a equals B in a B sim a topic formal link to utility theory in the example above an element a display style a of the set a display style a is made of two numbers the number of apples call it x display style x and the number of bananas call it y display style y in utility theory the utility function of an agent is a function that ranks all pairs of consumption bundles by order of preference completeness such that any set of 3 or more bundles forms a transitive relation this means that for each bundle x y Display style left x y right. There is a unique relation u x y. Display style u left x y right, representing the utility satisfaction relation associated with x y. Display style left x y right. The relation x y u x y display style left x y right to u left x y right is called the utility function the range of the function is a set of real numbers the actual values of the function have no importance only the ranking of those values has content for the theory more precisely if u x y u x y Display style u x y g e q u x y. Then the bundle x y display style left x y right is described as at least as good as the bundle x y display style left x y right. If u x y greater than 
u x y display style u left x y right greater than u left x y right the bundle x y display style left x y right is described as strictly preferred to the bundle x y display style left x y right consider a particular bundle x 0 y 0 display style left x underscore 0 y underscore 0 right and take the total derivative of u x y display style u left x y right about this point d u x 0 y 0 equals u 1 x 0 y 0 d x plus u 2 x 0 y 0 d y Display style do left x underscore zero y underscore zero right equals u underscore one left x underscore zero y underscore zero right dx plus u underscore two left x underscore zero y underscore zero right die or without loss of generality d u x zero y zero d x equals u 1 x 0 y 0 point 1 plus u 2 x 0 y 0 d y d x Display style FRAC do left x underscore zero y underscore zero right DX equals U underscore one x underscore zero y underscore zero point one plus U underscore two x underscore zero y underscore zero FRAC die DX EQ one where U one x Y Display style u underscore one left x y right is the partial derivative of u x y display style u left x y right with respect to its first argument evaluated at x y display style left x y right likewise for u two x Y display style u underscore two left x y right. The indifference curve through x zero y zero display style left x underscore zero y underscore zero right must deliver at each bundle on the curve the same utility level as bundle x zero y zero display style left x underscore zero y underscore zero right that is when preferences are represented by a utility function the indifference curves are the level curves of the utility function therefore if one is to change the quantity of x display style x by d x display style dx without moving off the indifference curve one must also change the quantity of y display style y by an amount d y display style die such that in the end there is no change in u d u x 0 y 0 d x equals 0 Display style FRAC do left x underscore zero, y underscore zero, right DX equals zero 
or substituting zero into eq one above to solve for di dx d u x zero y zero d x equals zero d y d x equals minus u one x zero y zero u two x zero y zero Display style FRAC do left x underscore zero, y underscore zero, right DX equals zero, left right arrow FRAC die DX equals FRAC U underscore one x underscore zero, y underscore zero, U underscore two x underscore zero, y underscore zero. Thus, the ratio of marginal utilities gives the absolute value of the slope of the indifference curve at point x zero y 0 display style left x underscore 0 y underscore 0 right this ratio is called the marginal rate of substitution between x display style x and y display style y topic examples topic Linear utility If the utility function is of the form u x y equals alpha x plus beta y display style u left x y right equals alpha x plus beta y then the marginal utility of x Display style x is u one x y equals alpha. Display style u underscore one left x y right equals alpha, and the marginal utility of y display style y is u two x y equals beta display style u underscore 2 left x y right equals beta the slope of the indifference curve is therefore d x d y equals minus beta alpha display style frac dx di equals frac beta alpha Observe that the slope does not depend on x display style x or y display style y the indifference curves are straight lines topic <laughs> cobb douglas utility if the utility function is of the form u x y equals x alpha y 1 minus alpha display style u left x y right equals x caret alpha y caret 1 alpha the marginal utility of x display style x is u 1 x y equals alpha x y alpha minus 1 display style u underscore 1 left x y right equals alpha left x y right caret alpha minus 1 and the marginal utility of y display style y is u 2 x y equals 1 minus alpha x y 
alpha display style u underscore two left x y right equals one alpha left x y right caret alpha where alpha one display style alpha the slope of the indifference curve, and therefore the negative of the marginal rate of substitution, is then dx dy equals minus one minus alpha alpha x y. Display style frac dx dy equals frac one alpha alpha left frac x y right. Topic CES utility. A general CES constant elasticity of substitution form is u x y equals alpha x rho plus 1 minus alpha y rho 1 rho Display style u x y equals left alpha x caret rho plus one alpha y caret rho right caret one rho, where alpha element of zero one display style alpha in zero one and rho one display style rho leq one. The Cobb-Douglas is a special case of the CES utility with Rho zero display style rho right arrow zero. The marginal utilities are given by u one x y equals alpha alpha x rho plus one minus alpha y rho one Rho minus one x rho minus one display style u underscore one x y equals alpha left alpha x caret rho plus one alpha y caret rho right caret left one rho right minus one x caret rho minus one and u two x y equals one minus alpha alpha x rho plus one minus alpha y Rho one rho minus one y rho minus one display style u underscore two x y equals one alpha left alpha x caret rho plus one alpha y caret rho right caret left one rho right minus one y caret rho minus one. Therefore, along an indifference curve, dx dy equals minus one minus alpha alpha x y one minus rho display style frac dx dy equals frac one alpha 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 left frac x y right caret one row. These examples might be useful for modeling individual or aggregate demand. Topic biology as used in biology. The indifference curve is a model for how animals decide whether to perform a particular behavior based on changes in two variables which can increase in intensity, one along the x-axis and the other along the y-axis. For example, the x-axis may measure the quantity of food available while the y-axis measures the risk involved in obtaining it. The indifference curve is drawn to predict the animal's behavior at various levels of risk and food availability. Topic critics and discussion Indifference curve inherit the critics on the utility. Herbert Hovenkamp has argued that the presence of an endowment effect has significant implications for law and economics, particularly in regard to welfare economics. He argues that the presence of an endowment effect indicates that a person has no indifference curve see however Hanneman, 1991, rendering the neoclassical tools of welfare analysis useless, concluding that courts should instead use WTA as a measure of value. Fischel, 1995, however, raises the counterpoint that using WTA as a measure of value would deter the development of a nation's infrastructure and economic growth. See also Budget constraint Community indifference curve Consumer theory Convex preferences Endowment effect Indifference price Level curve 
microeconomics rationality utility possibility frontier topic notes topic references topic further reading Beattie, Bruce R. La France, Geoffrey T. 2006. The Law of Demand versus Diminishing Marginal Utility. PDF. APPL. Econ. Perspect. Poll. 28 263-271. Doi 10.1111/j.1467-9353.200.1 x Topic External links Anatomy of Cobb Douglas type utility functions in 3D Anatomy of CES type utility functions in 3D